Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockrinder. Today's story is an iOS 9.1 remote root vulnerability being auctioned to the highest bidders. In September, a company called Zerodium released a bounty offering $1 million for a remote vulnerability in the iOS operating system. The rules were the vulnerability had to be through a browser or through a text message and had to happen without any sort of user interaction and silently and gain complete control of the iOS device, something known as a jailbreak vulnerability. In any case, in a Twitter post this week, uh, the owners of Zerodium actually announced that some researchers did find such a vulnerability and they're going to be paying the million dollar bounty. Now, before you go on thinking this is good news because now Apple can fix a new vulnerability, you need to realize that Zerodium is actually the same company or associated with the folks from another company called Vupin. Vupin was a company that bought zero-day vulnerabilities, did not disclose them to actual vendors, and rather auctioned them off to the highest bidders. Now, the company always said it would only auction them off to NATO-based countries, usually governments and nation states. And it appears Zerodium is the same type of company. They do not plan on sharing the details with Apple. Personally, I think these kind of companies are disgusting. I think the whole idea of taking zero-day vulnerabilities and auctioning them off to the highest bidder is just a horrible idea. Whether or not these vulnerabilities are sold to the country you happen to be a part of, using these sorts of unpatched vulnerabilities is just a bad precedent. If you have any sort of unfixed vulnerabilities in an operating system, you may think you're the only one to know about them, but chances are bad guys are going to find or use those vulnerabilities too. So I just think this is a ludicrous and stupid idea and that companies like this are kind of taking advantage of the fact that we don't have good cyber regulations around this. I do think researchers should have the ability to find vulnerabilities, but I don't think third parties should be able to auction them off to the highest bidder while keeping them from the actual vendors associated with the flaw. In any case, it is an interesting story. Hopefully, Apple will eventually figure out what this flaw is and fix it. That's it for today's news. Thank you for watching.